classifications for completely edentulous patient we continue the second lecture the diagnostic classification of complete edentulous class 1 this classification level describes the stage of edentulism that is most appear to be successfully treated by conventional prosthodontic techniques with complete denture processes in a class 1, we can see the residual bone height of 21 mm or greater measured at the least vertical height of the mandible. And the maxillomandibular relation is class 1. The residual ridge morphology that resists horizontal and vertical movement of the denture base is type A maxilla. The location of muscle attachments that are conductive to denture base stability and retention are type A or B of the mandible. Class 2, this classification level distinguishes itself with the noted continuation of the physical degradation of the denture supporting structures and in addition is characterized with the early onset of systemic disease interactions, localized soft tissue factors and patient management, lifestyle considerations. In a class 2, the residual bone height of 16 to 20 mm measured at the least vertical height of the mandible on the panoramic radiograph. The, the residual ridge morphology that resists horizontal and vertical movement of the denture base is type A or B of the maxilla, while the maxillomandibular relation is a class 1 relation. Location of muscle attachments with limited influence on denture base stability and retention, which is a type A or B of the mandible. There will be a minor modifiers, psychosocial considerations, mild systemic disease with oral manifestations and localized soft tissue conditions. In class 3 classification, this classification level is characterized by the need for surgical revision of denture supporting structures to allow for adequate prosthodontic function. Additional factors now play a significant role in treatment outcomes. The residual bone height of 11 to 15 mm measured at the least vertical height of the mandible. The maxillomandibular relation may be class 1, 2, or 3. The residual ridge morphology has minimum influence to resist horizontal or vertical movement of the denture base, which is type C of the maxilla. Location of muscle attachments with moderate influence on denture base stability and retention, which is type C of the mandible. The residual bone height of 11 to 15 mm measured at the least vertical dimension and the class 1 and 2 or 3 maxillomandibular relation. And the residual ridge morphology has minimum influence on to resist horizontal or vertical movement of the denture base, type C maxilla, and location of muscle attachments with moderate influence on denture base stability and retention, which is type C of In class 4, this classification level depicts the most debilitated edentulous condition. Surgical reconstruction is almost always indicated but can not always be accomplished due to the patient's health, desire, past dental history, and financial considerations. When surgical revision is not selected, prosthodontic techniques of specialized nature must be used in order to achieve an adequate treatment outcome. In class 4, the residual bone height of at, le at least vertical height of the mandible and the maxillomandibular relation may be class 1, 2, or 3 and the residual ridge offers no resistance to horizontal or vertical movement which is type D of the maxilla and location of muscle attachments with significant influence on denture base stability and retention which is type D and E of the mandible. 
the residual bone height of least vertical height can be C here, type A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. The conditions requiring pre-prosthetic surgery like minor soft tissue procedures, minor hard tissue procedures, implant placement, simple, no augmentation required, multiple extraction leading to complete edentulism for immediate denture placement, and limited inter-arch space, which is 18 to 20 millimeter. The major conditions which require preprosthetic surgery include implant placement, complex cases with augmentation, and surgical correction of dentofacial deformation and hard tissue augmentation, major soft tissue revision, that's to say vestibular extensions with or without soft tissue grafting, history of paresthesia or dysesthesia, insufficient inter-arch space with surgical correction required and acquired or congenital maxillofacial defects. Severe oral manifestation of systemic disease or conditions include sequela from oncologic treatment, maxillomandibular ataxia, incoordination, hyperactivity of tongue that can be associated with a retracted tongue position and or its associated morphology, hyperactive gag reflex managed with medication, psychosocial conditions warranting provisional intervention, a refractory patient. Refractory patient is a patient who has a chronic complaints following appropriate therapy. These patients continue to have difficulty in achieving their treatment expectations despite the thoroughness or frequency of treatment provided. Guidelines for use of complete edentulism classification system. In those instances, when a patient diagnostic criteria are mixed between two classes, any single criteria of a more complex class will move the patient into that respective class. Utilization of this system is indicated for pre-treatment evaluations and classification of patients. Retrospective analysis on a post-treatment basis may alter a patient's classification. Objective criteria for treatment difficulty. What makes a difficult patient? The measurable criteria, the hard tissue, soft tissue, and the maxillomandibular relationship. These things that will make the objective criteria of a case of patient difficult or easy. Thank you.